For We Are SC, I'm Lindsay Lopes, here with columnist Greg Katz and Eric McKenney. Let's talk about the receiver group. These three guys are dominating. Eric, can you give us a little update on the receivers? I think the three you're talking about are the guys that saw so much time last year. Michael Pittman, Tyler Vons, Amon Ross St. Brown. It, it, at this point, it's a four. Devin Williams this spring was terrific. He, he would kind of go hot and cold a little bit, expected from a, a really young guy. But when he was on, it, these four, I think, are as good as you're going to see in the Pac-12 maybe on the entire, you know, in the entire West region and maybe talking about them uh, up there with some of the best units in the country. I think Michael Pittman specifically this spring came out to show that he is good, he's ready to take that step forward as a senior and be, you know, that sort of NFL guy on this team. Uh, I'm, I'm really impressed with what we've seen from him. And then John Jackson too, the, the newcomer, John Jackson the third, he stepped in and he did not look like a true freshman at all. He played very well this spring. So you've got those five guys, some of the walk-ons were able to step in and they were really called upon because of the lack of numbers at wide receiver. And so I think this group uh, is really strong at the top. There's not a ton of depth. I mean, you, the, this was one of those positions that had that exodus uh, over the offseason, a bunch of guys jumping into the transfer, transfer portal. Uh, and so with the wide receivers, you really like where you are at the, at the top of the depth chart. I think at tight end, we saw some, some stuff from the tight ends this spring too. Uh, this is a position where we've heard a lot in the past, hey, here come the tight ends, we're going to use the tight ends, and it just sort of never hasn't happened recently um, and then when you bring in the air raid it's well what's going to happen to the tight ends are we going to see them we did see a lot of action from the tight ends uh, it, it was disappointing to see Jude Wolf go down and miss sort of some of the last uh, bit of, of spring ball I thought he was coming on really strong uh, but Eric Cromanhook I thought took a step forward I think Josh Follow is going to be part of this offense so again the quarterbacks whoever it ends up being they're going to have some help out wide and we heard from the wide receivers, we heard from offensive coordinator Graham Harrell that this is a little bit different. It's not where you're just given a play as a wide receiver and you run exactly to that spot and hope the ball's there. You have to be able to find, he called it running to grass. You had to be able to get open within the offense and really develop that relationship with the quarterback. So I think it's going to take a little bit more time to where this is a, a flawless, perfectly run offense. But at this point, after 15 practices, it's it's been... A, uh, a pleasant surprise to see how far forward these wide receivers have come this spring. Thank you, Eric. Greg, what about you? Is there anything you've seen specifically from the receiver side or even from the tight end? Has that? Uh, well, I think uh, the overall take I had after 15 spring practices was these wide receivers are going to be even more productive than we've seen them in the past by far. Uh, it's not going to be about throwing it 70 yards and a long touchdown. I'm sure we'll see some of that but it's yards after catch. The way this offense is spreading out the defense, you can see that if they hit the right crack with these receivers, they're gonna, they're gonna take it the distance. Uh, I think the Devin Williams is a very important because of the uh, lack of quantity of quality. Uh, he's learning because he's about 6'4", 6'4 and a half. He's learning how to shade his body with smaller defenders. So sometimes it's like he'll, he sh you say, well, he should have caught that one. And he'd probably say the same thing. Then the next play, he'll come back in the end zone, and he just physically, it's a jump ball. He's going to win, and as soon as he feels comfortable in that. But I think that uh, when I, I think of Pittman coming back for his senior year was a tremendous move on his part, I think. I think this offense is really going to highlight Tyler Vaughn's. I think Amon Ra St. Brown is really going to be explosive because he's physical. He's going to be that guy that might get hit and keep on running. And uh, when you add uh, you know Williams to the, uh, to the equation, I think they're, they're, they're okay. The problem is, is if you have four wides and one of them goes down, you know, you figure 12 games plus a bowl game, you know, you're asking a lot of somebody, I mean, especially if you're catching passes over the middle. I mean, you are a, a target at the highest level. So the freshmen that are going to come in, I mean, there's some guys that I think that, you know, uh, Drake London is one that comes to my mind. Athletic, uh, you know, we have to wait and see how Kyle Ford is recovering. But I think in the end, I think that, like running backs, wide receivers have the best chance to get on the field early. And I think uh, with this offense, that the, the, the young guys will come along and they'll, they'll ease them in. And they're going to need them. They're going to need them. But top shelf wide receivers, I, I agree with Eric that 
probably as good as there is on the Pac-12 and nationally, I'd like to see who's better. What has been the major change that you've seen from this last season now preparing for 2019? In terms of the receivers or overall? In terms overall? of receivers. Okay. I think the receivers are rejuvenated. I think the receivers really say, wow, if I can find that grass, I'm getting it and I'm going to go. And you know that receivers like running backs. Running backs want to carry the ball over and over and over again. Receivers want to catch the ball. I think what's going to be important my, uh, from my perspective is that there isn't just one receiver. You know, JT has been accused, I think, I don't know if it's fair or unfair, of always looking for Amon Ross St. Brown. For team chemistry, they have to believe that whoever's the quarterback is going to deliver the ball to the open receiver regardless of who it is. Okay, if it is St. Brown, feed him, feed him. But if it isn't St. Brown, make sure that all the other guys don't go, why am I running these patterns? I'm just running it and he's going to throw it to somebody else. So I think the, we talk about leadership and quarterbacks. They're going to help with the, with the motivation of the wide receivers. I think once the wide receivers start catching passes and that Coliseum crowd gets in their helmet, uh, I think SC is going to be okay. Thank you, Greg. Eric, Greg was talking about what's going to be major for these receivers is the yards after the catch. I know Coach Helton's been talking a lot about physicality. That's been a big thing, and also speed. And these guys are physical. They're, I mean, look at Michael Pittman. He has size and speed. How do you think that's going to play out um, this season? Yeah, I think that's it. I think it's a lot of sort of quick passes, and when you get the ball quickly, you're, you're not deep down the field past the cornerbacks, past the safeties. So you have to do something with the ball in your hands. And, and I really like specifically for Michael Pittman this spring, what we have seen, he will just go after the cornerbacks. He, he's not waiting to sort of get pushed in that five yard bubble. He, he is taking the contact to the defensive backs. Amon Ross St. Brown is another guy that can do that too. And, and I really like what we've seen from that. They kind of create their own separation on these little quick, quick routes uh, to be able to get open. And again, because the, the defense is so spread apart, they've got room to go after they can do that. If they can make one guy miss, there's a lot of room to run. So that, again, is, is a positive we've seen from this offense. Thank you, Eric. For We Are SC, I'm Lindsay Lopes here with Greg Katz and Eric McKenney. You've been watching WeRSC.com.